Welcome to episode 19 of the Android App Review Show. A um, little something different this week, just introduce with a piece of camera to introduce the app. Um, this week uh, I'm going to have a look at the Engadget app. Uh, there's lots of news, like news apps, you can get a dig app and things like that. So I thought, why not review one of them? Uh, I had an exam earlier in the week, so this is going to have to be a short review because I haven't really worked out what I would uh, like to say, but we'll see how it goes, and um, let's just dive straight in then, shall we? Okay, so here we are on my apps page. Um, got the Engadget app just here. Every, anybody that actually uses uh, Engadget.com will recognize the symbol, so we'll just jump straight in. Um, boots up quite nicely. This is um, I feel one of the most aesthetically pleasing apps that I've ever come across. It's just very well laid out. At the top here, you're in, well, you're instantly greeted with the top stories from Engadget. Um, at the top, you have the top stories, very much very similar to their, their um, web page, and you can scroll to the side to go through to the next top story. And you have five top stories at the top here. You can see. Um, so those are easy to get to. Obviously, if you just tap one, it opens up the um, the news page. Um, you can scroll through quite easily. Um, all these links work. Obviously, these will take you to uh, your browser. In my case, I've got Skyfire installed. Take you there. Um, you've got the comments at the top here. You can see here it says 69 comments. I thought you could tap that, but obviously not. Um, you can skip through news stories here with these buttons down at the bottom and then clicking this button here lets you share via whatever you have. I mean obviously I've got a lot of things that enable some sort of sharing on here. Um, back to the main page you have uh, latest posts here you can just scroll through. No, um, no progress bar on the side so you have no idea where you are in said list. Um, oh, wasn't supposed to press that yet. And then you can click next. Obviously I'm not sure about the um, overall speed because obviously I am connected to Wi-Fi here you can see. So um, it's loading very quickly. But um, I mean I, it's, it's just a very fluid application. I mean obviously I have a hero so I'm on 1.5 at the moment. And um, and obviously the Hero isn't the most hardcore of um, phones spec-wise, but you can see it's very smooth, very smooth. Um, across the bottom you've got some um, categories that you can select. We have uh, latest news, which is what it opens up into. You can select by topic, so you can, if you're just looking for some news about GPS devices, click the GPS topic, and here you go, here's all of the latest gadget news about um, GPS software or big products. Um, videos, mostly the Engadget review show or whatever it is the Engadget show. There's a couple of things here. That's also the Engadget show. Um, podcasts, obviously the Engadget podcast. Um, and galleries. Gallery, photo galleries of recently photographed gadgets. Um, these are, if they ever have a gallery link, you'll see it on the page. I mean, if you go to Engadget, you'll know. Um, they have some things, some of the posts come with a specific gallery page for stuff that they've got lots of pictures of. Um, these are all quite recent, obviously. Right at the top of the, th of the news story, you can click the next button and load on to the next set of gallery pages. Um, oh, didn't mean to go out of that. Um, Then you have uh, you got two buttons here. This one obviously is the refresh button. So if you've been staring at the screen for quite a while, you can press the refresh button and it will download more latest news. 
This one, you can change between which Engadget site you want to visit. you got Engadget Mobile, Engadget HD, and obviously in general Engadget Page. Um, mobile, some mobile and HD content will appear on the main page, but there's other stuff which is um, more specific to its field that will appear on the mobile and HD pages. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, you can also, directly from this app, you can tip them on news. So if you're out and about, say you're at, I don't know, CES or something, some com some computer show, and you see something that's worth tipping them about, of, well, they'll probably be there anyway. Um, you can compose a message here. So it's already, it's filled out the email, apptips at engadget.com, and then subject and name and you can tip them on information. Um, you can also from change the settings here which is basically just selecting which channel you want to view which is um, just as easy to accomplish up here. So that's the app, that's everything it does. So that's the Engadget app. Um, it's a very basic news app. Uh, it works exceptionally well for um, for uh, what it needs to do does everything that you would require and you can also tip them straight from the app so everything that you could possibly require apart from the comments which I didn't show uh, pressing the comment thing didn't seem to do anything I'm not sure if that was just me or whether it doesn't um, it's free from the marketplace and continually updated and supported by Engadget um, you can get to it by going here, there's the QR code, take you to the app on the marketplace, that's enough of that, and um, if, uh, yeah, it's free, I recommend it, um, you can keep up to date with Android news, with, well with all news, not just Android news, <laughs> you can keep up to date with the uh, gadget news from it, from the Engadget website, and um, the only things you have to worry about are data charges. Uh, I was obviously using the Wi-Fi, but um, it works just as well through the data. Um, I can't think of a reason not to get it. Well, unless like you aren't into gadgets, but then if you're watching this show and you have an Android phone, you probably are. So I recommend downloading that, and you can keep up to date with gadget news when you're just bored, sit there, look through the gadget news, see what's on today. Um, well, that's all from this week. Um, it was just a quick, that was just a quick episode. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you want, if you can think of any, if you have any suggestions um, and an app you want me to review or any even tips for the show in any way that you think I could improve this, do let me know. Uh, email me at tom at callsmartphone.com and you can follow me on Twitter at Tom Ranson. And um, you can, oh yeah, the Facebook page, the Android App Review Show, Facebook, come, become a fan on Facebook. And follow, um, oh, I already said that one. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching this week. Next week, no app review, but I'm going to read, I'm gonna, it'll be episode 20. I'm going to look back at the previous 19 apps and see if I still use them. I know for a fact that there's some that I don't use anymore, so... What will they be? Find out next week. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.